Welcome to ESD School, brought to you by Attract. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Enjoy the video. Uh, so today, a new episode about uh, traction mentality in ESD. Uh, more than a technique and mentality you should apply for every ESD procedure or almost every ESD procedure. So first, uh, the theory. Uh, we really think that uh, traction is unavoidable. In fact, uh, we know that for digestive superficial tumor, the, the, the current treatment the most used in the world is piecemeal resection, but ESD is better uh, because uh, it uh, gives a R0 resection. It means a better uh, assessment of the lesion by the pathologist with less risk of missing budding uh, lymphovascular invasion or undifferentiated component, but also a new risk of recurrence that uh, make um, uh, possible to skip the early follow-up. Uh, it's not possible with EMR, even if the risk is low with thermal ablation of the margin, it is not null and therefore we should uh, do this early follow-up. But ESD Despite the fact it's a reference to get a R0 resection of a superficial colorectal neoplasia, it's a long lasting procedure, it's technically demanding, and it needs a long training. And because of all these reasons, it has uh, it had a very low spreading outside Japan uh, because it was too difficult to be applied uh, just for oncological uh, theoretical benefit and the risk of recurrence. But in fact, uh, it is the best uh, treatment if we are able to simplify it. And for us, the most important revolution we had in the last years is traction. Why? Because without traction, ESD is very difficult. You create a space, you do your trimming, you enlarge the space in order to make the scope able to enter the submucosa, but whatever, uh, you should uh, play with your cap to try to create a triangulation thanks to the cap to enter into the submucosal space. But it's quite dangerous because you are facing the muscle. Your orientation is not directed to the submucosal fibers, but to the muscle to enter the space. It's not so easy. The main disadvantage of, of endoscopy compared to surgery is the fact that we have only one end with no clear triangulation. So uh, the main benefit of surgery is to have two ends, one to tract and one to cut. At the beginning, uh, I did, uh, uh, when I went back to Jap from Japan in 2015, I did uh, 18 cases of colon ESD. It was feasible, but very slow, very difficult. And my friend Jeremy uh, tried uh, to do ESD in the colon uh, because uh, we were doing but he said it's too difficult, we should stop. But one of our nurse uh, had the idea to use a rubber band through the channel and put it on the lesion to tract it to the opposite wall. And with this, it seems easier. I said I'm skeptical with traction, like all of you or all, mo almost all people uh, are saying. I'm skeptical, uh, Japanese experts are able to do ESD in the colon without traction, we should be better, we should train. But in fact, uh, Jeremy said to me, seriously, have you ever seen a surgeon trying to work with only one end to be better later with two ends? And in fact, no. No surgeon is trained to work with only one end. They always use the, the two ends, one to tract and one to cut. So in fact, if we can uh, be helped by something, it's by a left hand to open the space. And I said, okay, I will try space. Um, some small improvement have been proposed like underwater ESD. Uh, underwater is a good way to enlarge a little the space, but once again, it's not enough compared to a left hand that open the space. And even underwater, uh, the, the, the use of traction is better. And after we went to a multipolar traction strategy. Why? Because uh, we wanted to have both attraction on the oral edge, but also on the distal edge and on the two sides. So we use the four points, the four cardinal points, multipolar traction strategy in order to make the lesion doing a kind of uh, 
uh, wallet a fold on itself to improve the exposure of the four angles. But even if it was better to go into and to achieve the procedure, once again, the same problem, it means uh, the, 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 once you are dissecting, the tension in the submucosal fibers is going down and therefore the rubber band is less stretched and the force of traction is decreasing. That's why uh, one of our fellow uh, proposed this uh, new strategy called ATTRACT, Adaptive Traction. It's a system with a multipolar traction on two or four points depending on the size of the lesion, but you can pull it to tighten the device and increase the traction at the end. It means that you will not stay with the same traction at the end when it becomes difficult. You are able at this point to tighten the device and close all the points together to improve the traction. And why is it better? I will try to show you uh, with this kind of match. With a monopolar traction on the left, the, the, it's easier to, to set in, uh, to set up. With a multipolar, you have more clips to fix, but once the angle is closed in the monopolar strategy, you can tighten the device and improve again the field of view with uh, the uh, multipolar adaptive traction. And we reach in a, in a prospective recent trial, 66 square millimeters per minute, which is quite uh, almost the triple of uh, the first series about pocket creation method with 25 square millimeters per minute. So finally, for uh, a simulated lesion of five per five centimeter without fibrosis, it's around 2000 square millimeter. With the pocket creation method by expert, it takes one hour and 20 minutes. With a double clip traction uh, ESD with expert, 50 minutes. And with an optimal ESD with attract adaptive traction, we reach 30 minutes and it allows to do more patient in the same time, reducing the difference with uh, uh, ESD uh, in, in between ESD and piece media MO. So your traction strategy should be adapted to the strategy. Uh, and for example, here we will inject first on the oral point, cut to, to, to try to open the space, fix the traction adaptive device on the oral edge, then do your anal side uh, res resection, incision, trimming, then fix uh, the traction device. And it, uh, it does like this for granular LST with a pattern which was very, um, very destroyed in, in only one area. The lesion was finally an intramucosal carcinoma. This is the device, a little complicated to understand at the beginning because uh, there are several points that should be placed very precisely. First, the, the, the fixed point, uh, which is a, the kind of articulation of the device that be tightened and fix all the points. After the oral side, uh, the anal side, sorry, with a second point here. It's fixed only with a clip. Later, we will fix the two uh, additional uh, loops on the two edges of the lesion in order to have a, a four cardinal points uh, traction here. Last point on the edge. So you, you should take large margin to fix the device on the edges and once the four edges of the lesion are fixed by the device, you can take the rubber band and fix it to the opposite wall with an additional clip. It was the second lesion we did, we did with adaptive traction in this patient. You see one which is uh, uh, hanging uh, in, in, in the distal colon. And once the traction is fixed, you can see that the exposure is very good and the other point is that submucosa is stretched and therefore is condensated. Uh, so uh, you have more fibers of submucosa per uh, mi millimeter. And therefore, when you could cut one millimeter, you cut more fibers than if there is no traction.
here we have tightened the device in order to improve again the exposure and the tension on the distal edge of the lesion and you see that uh, the lesion is really pulled out and therefore once you cut the, the space is opening until the end of the procedure making the end of the procedure safer and easier so the devices uh, at the beginning it was a handmade device uh, done by one of our nurse uh, Solin with two adaptive loop and two additional loops and we are now working on the industrialization process in order to get something CE mark uh, easier to use with less uh, mixing of uh, the different loops and easier to understand to be placed more easily because it's the main limitation it's quite difficult to uh, set up so many many very difficult cases uh, have been uh, performed thanks to this strategy on recurrences on standard DSD in diverticulas for intermuscular uh, 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 dissection EID for appendix lesion for example this strategy only the strategy here uh, we cut around uh, we place the traction device in order to to have a good traction we try to dissect all the the secal part of the lesion in order to uh, release the lesion from his attachment to the muscular wall and once we get close to the appendiceal area we tighten the device in order to uh, invert uh, the, the the appendix area being able to cut it very deeply and to have um, a R0 resection even in the appendicial space for this kind of lesion which are usually not invading very very deep uh, the uh, appendix area and after we let mucosa into the appendix that goes back to its position when traction is released so in conclusion uh, I think we should stop discussion and prefer traction in order to make great improvement in ESD uh, because everybody uh, is going through a, a way which, which begin by I do not need traction I manage without my dunder, my mentor did not need but in fact once you will begin you will say okay but only for trainees I don't need it uh, okay but uh, I have tried it's okay but only for difficult case uh, one rubber band is enough we don't need this very complicated device uh, but once you will begin you will find exactly the same problem we did uh, it means the reduction of tension at the end of your ESD and you will say oh with multiple attraction I have doubled my speed uh, I can do crazy ESDs like recurrences appendix ileosecal valve I couldn't make before and fi fi finally uh, when there is no traction device available i lose a lot of time and i i feel it could be better with it to improve the traction at the end and finally uh, adaptive traction is much better to improve the traction at the end and facilitate the end of the procedure when you become tired so finally please try it will change your esd life and we are not the only guys convinced about traction if you see PubMed uh, in, uh, no, uh, in June 2022, there was 187 results. And now, uh, nowadays, 230 results about traction ESD only. So it is exploding. Everybody wants to do traction, even more uh, experienced experts in Japan. So, so finally, please try it at least. Please try traction. Uh, please also try multiple attraction and adaptive ones in order to understand why it is a revolution and why your ESD will become easier, faster, safer and therefore more frequent in your ESD life. Mm, best regards and I hope it was, uh, it was interesting for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your colleagues. Until next time, this is ESD School by Attract.